figured I'll just go straight. At some point, it's got to run into Highway 5 again. Um, half, maybe three quarters of a mile down the road, I'm passing abandoned houses and abandoned cars. And I pop up over the top of a hill, and there it was, 1957 Volkswagen panel bus. Um, I, and I freaked. I freaked out. I marked it on my GPS, called my wife, told her I had something to show her. So I take the car back to the impound lot, drop it off, head home, picked up my wife Danielle, and took her straight back up there. Weeks later, we finally got her to meet up with us. Great to get inside the fence to actually check out the bus. We talked with Kelly for about an hour. Um, we saw Cooper on the back of the bus. We'd seen some TV repair ads. Um, they were pretty much all, not all but faded away. I told him that we moved from Kansas City to Stover, and uh, I told him I lived in my grandpa's house right in town, Reno Brunges. And his face got even brighter this time. His parents used to live in our house when they owned the bus. It blew my mind. It's, it's something I was never expecting to see. I, I could have never asked for something that cool to happen to me. So we get all loaded up, show up to the job site, still have no clue where I'm at. Walk in the door, here comes Bonnie. My boss introduces me, Josh, this is Bonnie Cooper. And at that point it hit me. I'm at Roger and Bonnie Cooper's house. A place where my mom actually grew up. I mean, she, she was best friends with her daughter, Robin. She was over there all the time. So they're pretty much family with us. We, we would talk to her every two weeks at, at the minimum. I mean, I, I tried not to be too pushy with it, but I was, always wanted to be in her ear. You know, I had to have this bus. I had to have this bus. So we went back and forth for just over a year. And uh, three weeks ago, she called and said, I finally want to sell the bus to you. I've got a price if you'd like to meet up. So instantly, we, we're ready to meet up anytime she is. So we meet her just down the street, and uh, we sit down and talk. and she hit us with it. It wasn't quite the price we were looking for, but I knew that we could save up and make it happen. The story is amazing. We, we really thought telling Kelly every two weeks that something new had popped up, you know, it, we're almost family with him. Uh, they, they knew my mom, they grew up with my mom, they shared the same house with us. And then my very first job on the construction site, I'm at their house. Um, it was just one thing after another. It's, it's been a mind-blowing year. Um, to say we've lost sleep is an understatement. And I thought it would get better once we got them home. And that's not right. I've been up till two, three, five o'clock in the morning last night trying to get these breaks ready. I mean, I'm, I'm still not sleeping even though he's home. So. It's, it's been one thing after another and we, we love it.